Hi friends, you know fear is a natural, powerful and primitive human emotion. Fear alerts us to the presence of danger or the threat of harm, whether that danger is physical or psychological. It is an emotion induced by perceived danger or threat which causes physical physiological changes and ultimately behavioral changes also. Today I just wanted to share a nice story of Akbar and Birbal which really causes a kind of emotion in all of us. Actually nowadays we all are in frightening situations. Really it's a frightening time. We are in the midst of worldwide pandemic with many places at least partially shut down and others are struggling to reopen safely. Some of us are in areas where the coronavirus infection rates are really getting worse and most of the others are bracing for what may come next. And all of us are watching the headlines and wondering when this situation is going to end. Because nowadays the situation is really becoming worse and we are seeing lot many deaths in front of us. That's why just to get out of that kind of feeling a feeling of fear is there in everybody's mind. If we read certain stories or if we are in touch with certain uh, kind of uh, uh, aspects okay, which makes us to come out of such fears, fears of getting some kind of uh, uh, what we call we may get attacked to a virus or something like such kind of fear is there in everybody's mind. So I request all of us to come out of that fear. We have to learn some new things which are not like the news which are being told in TV. Right. So let us go for a small or a short story of Akbar and Birbal. The story runs like this. Once Akbar asks people to frame a sentence in such a way that by seeing the sentence or by reading the sentence, the person who is in happy mood should feel sad or afraid and by reading the same sentence, the person who is in sad mood should feel extremely happy with the same. Then Birbal started thinking day and night and not understanding how to frame such sentence. The condition, did you all understand? The person who is reading the sentence, the, who, the person if he is in sad mood, he should feel happy. And the person who is in happy mood, if he reads the sentence, he should feel sad. How is it possible? Birbal was very much tensed and he is thinking about the sentence to frame the sentence and day and night he was thinking but Akbar gave him only one day time okay and Birbal was a bit tensed to face Akbar the next day so he was thinking how to face Akbar in this situation how to pass this time how to get out of this situation he was thinking like that then automatically it strike in the mind of Birbal. Birbal started saying to Akbar, Maharaj, ye vat guzar jata. He said that sentence to Akbar. When Akbar asked about the sentence, then Birbal was explaining like this. That was the sentence. Uh, if anybody reads, suppose, by reading the sentence, definitely those who are in happy mode will feel that this happiness may not last for long time. 
and may have to face hardships very shortly ye waqt guzar jata really this time passes away right the same sentence if it is read by a person who is in sad mood he will feel extremely happy that all his struggles and all his hardships are going to end very shortly okay and he will he will come out of that sad situation yes ye waqt guzar jata this hardships won't be there for long time he is going to get good days okay he is going to get better time so by reading the same sentence the kind of feeling arises in different people in different way everything is being answered only by time isn't it or not so we have to wait for the better situations to come yes understanding uh, makes the difference so it is in our understanding how you take the sentence how you take the present situation without getting panic okay so please don't get panic okay ye waqt guzar jata these days are going to pass and we are definitely going to get better days right thanks for watching dear viewers please subscribe to my channel thank you